This is the 2022 Las Vegas Sun High School Football Media Day at Red Rock Resort. We wanna thank our sponsors, New World Graphics, Don't Let Your Friends Wear Blank Shirts, and Bonanno's Pizza, a New York pizzeria in Las Vegas. The next team we have with us, the Cimarron Memorial Spartans. We have coach Shane Caney alongside a pair of players, Eugene Davis and Andrew Overland. Coach, uh, you've been through a few of these. Uh, actually, in the notes here, Ray Brewer points out that uh, they have a photo of you at the very first media day. Um, so you've been, been around a lot of high school football teams over the years. What makes this one unique? What stands out this year? Um, this one is just our energy. These kids come ready, come ready and willing to work every single day. And they're, I mean, it's the dog days of summer, and their energy level is absolutely unbelievable. They want to get better. They strive to get better. And just being around these kids, I mean, it's never a day at work. It's just another wonderful day with these guys. Um, Andrew, what, how have you guys uh, kind of developed that mentality? Uh, what brought that about? It's just we all, I feel like we've all been together since freshman year. It's my senior year, so like we've all had a group together, and uh, we've really bonded well together. And it's just like we're excited to, to get a new record this year and come out better in the playoffs and make a run in the playoffs this year. Um, Eugene, you, you get a taste of uh, how, how much of what happened last year playing to, to, to what uh, you want to do this year? Last year, you know, we just had a, a couple of young guys, young cats out there, first time playing varsity. But now since they have the experience now, I think they're going to be better and they're going to be a stingy defense. Um, Coach, last year was the first year of the uh, new 4A, and I think uh, the word we keep hearing with it is, is wide open. There's a lot of parity. Uh, you know, a lot of teams can uh, beat up on each other. Did, does, does that make it uh, really exciting knowing that this thing's kind of wide open? I absolutely think the 4A is great. I think you have a lot of really good football being played in the 4A. I think with what not only teams within our conference in terms of Silverado were able to accomplish, but a lot of teams took big strides in terms of just developing the game of high school football in Southern Nevada and just making football great here in Southern Nevada. It's a nice little change up. And yeah, it's a wild card every week and you never know who's gonna come out on top. Um, obviously, these two guys did something right to be here uh, next to you, and I know you had a, a third kid scheduled that couldn't quite make it, but just can you, can you talk about all three of those guys and uh, maybe uh, some other people to look out for on your team? Yeah, no, we have uh, Andrew Overland right here was, uh, I believe, second team All-League DN, which is great. Um, Eugene Davis is another All-League kid at inside linebacker. Our quarterback, who could not quite make it today, he was a uh, All-League kid at quarterback, and you know, we got a lot of good kids coming back. We got a lot of seniors coming back, and it's great to see uh, Cimarron, Memorial, Cimarron Memorial develop and just get better week in and week out. Um, Eugene's obviously two great defensive players up here, and then your, your quarterback's also supposed to be here. Putting you on the spot, though, who, who wins the practice more often, the offense or the defense? Uh, defense. Defense loves it every day. You know, <laughs> it's always a defense. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> um, Andrew, what have you seen from the offense, though, uh, you know, going against them every day? What, what makes them special? What makes you think they can uh, take another step this year? I really, really think this year's going to be a great year. We got a new offensive coordinator, and uh, I like the plays he's been putting in. I, I really think it's going to be a great year just watching it develop and practice and playing against it, it makes it tough and it makes it fun every day in practice, just like competition. So I think we'll have a chance this year, it'll be fun. Um, Eugene, what's the, what's the scouting report on Andrew? What makes him a great player for you guys? Oh, he makes a great player because he's a tall man. He can, he, he's actually pretty fast too, especially be that tall, you know? And then, you know, when we need, need, need those arrows, you know, we can get those quick five yards and easier for the first down. And he can throw a heck of a fastball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, baseball player too. Uh, I got to give you the same uh, luxury though, Andrew. Give me uh, the lowdown on Eugene. What's he do well? He's a dog inside. I mean, if I was running back, I'd be scared to come down that hole. I know in practice, I'm like, oh, let me avoid this dude every time I'm coming down. So he's, he's a great player. He's small. He looks like he looks like he's not going to be a good player. But once he hits you, you can really feel it. It's, I'm excited to play against him <laughs> my final year. Um, Coach, is that something you emphasize, being a hard-hitting team? Uh, kind of make another team want to be have a little bit of fear to be hit by guys that physicality you know what the biggest thing we can worry about right now is Simron Memorial um, the wins and losses they'll come they'll go but we'll do everything with pride and class but the biggest thing is more so just focusing on Simron Memorial football and just trying to get better as mentioned week in and week out Okay, I guess with that being said, Andrew, what, what, what are the keys? Where are the areas where you think you still do need to uh, get a little better to ultimately uh, reach your goals where you want to be this year? I really think we need to improve on our running game this year. I like, like I said, our whole line has gotten better. We had a lot of young guys last year. But they've got stronger and we've been working hard in the weight room this summer. And I really think our run game is going to improve this year, in which our run game will lead to our passing game, which will be open, be on the outside and stuff. That will be fun. I'm just excited to see this year. 
Um, and I guess we'll go to Eugene for the final word. Sounds like, uh, like Andrew said, it's going to be bringing some of those young guys along to make sure they're able to uh, contribute to, to where you guys want to be. What is the key? How do you, as a leader, uh, make sure you have everyone on the same page and, and develop these guys on the right path? Uh, I'd uh, make everybody to be on the same page, you know, make sure they wake up every day, be focused on the, on the plan today, you know, just get better, compete with each other, make each other get better, you know, talk, 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 you know, competitive, trash talk, whatever. But uh, I think if we just like lead the little young cats and be together, we, we're going to be better. All right, well, that's Cimarron Memorial Spartans going to be right in the thick of things in the 4A this year. This has been the 2022 Las Vegas Sun High School Football Media Day at Red Rock.